क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी सिक्स दिस इज एन आबिड्राज क्वेश्चन स्पॉट वन डॉलर इज इक्वल टू रुपी फोर्टी एट पॉइंट जीरो वन टू थ्री वन एटी डे फॉरवर्ड दैट इज सिक्स मंथ फॉरवर्ड इज गिवन टू यू अगेन वन डॉलर इज इक्वल टू समथिंग इफ यू नोटिस इट दिस मीन्स डॉलर इज एट प्रीमियम राइट नाउ एनुलाइज इंटरेस्ट रेट फॉर सिक्स मंथ रुपी इंटरेस्ट रेट इज गिवन टू यू एज ट्वेल्व परसेंट एंड डॉलर इज एट परसेंट सो इंडियन एंड यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स इंटरेस्ट रेट आर गिवन टू यू एनुलाइज ओके दीज आर पर एनम वी नीड फॉर सिक्स मंथ्स ओनली इज देयर एनी आबिट्राज पॉसिबिलिटी ओके इफ येस हाउ एन आबिट्राज यू कैन टेक एडवांटेज ऑफ द सिचुएशन इफ ही इज विलिंग टू बोरो रुपी फोर्टी लैक और डॉलर एटी थ्री थाउजेंड थ्री वन टू ओके सो शुड आई बोरो इन रुपीज और शुड आई बोरो इन dollars that is what the question is asking me now see by default if you just look at the question and um, if there was no foreign exchange involved we say since uh, this interest rate rupee interest rate is more so we should invest here right because if i invest 100 rupees today after 6 months i will get 106 rupees right because 6 months interest rather than here if i invest in united states i'll just get 104 rupees but that's not the case why because there is foreign exchange involved so you also have to see the forward rate and you have to see how much the currency as is at a premium right so there is not only the interest factor there is also the foreign exchange factor that is the premium or the discount whatever in case in this case if you notice dollar is at a premium if you see from the rates and also from the interest rates you can gauge the fact that dollar is at a premium because the interest rate is less and rupee is at a discount right so what we do is we calculate two things and then we'll compare so first of all let's calculate i have already solved the solution so that it does not take a lot of time now see first we calculate premium or discount in this case we clearly saw that the currency is which which is at premium is dollar so dollar at premium we know the formula forward minus spot upon spot into 12 because we need it for 12 months annualized percentage format always premium or discount by n n is nothing but the time different that is uh 6 months here the time factor into 100 why because percentage form annualized percentage right when i solve this forward minus spot upon spot into 12 by 6 months into 100 this gives me 3.36 percentage this is the forward premium but which currency dollar premium okay dollar is at a forward premium of of 3.6 no 3.36 but this is per annum okay since this is at per annum i took this which is the interest rate differential is what we calculate the next part of the solution is interest rate differential so in this case i took 12 minus 8 i took a per per annum rate and if you notice clearly i have not multiplied these rates by 6 by 12 the reason is because you are if see if this is basic mathematics that when i compare two things i have to make sure that both of these things are in equal uh, position or, or the same format so since this was for 12 months this uh, premium forward premium this also has to be 12 months and this is already if you see analyze interest rates 12 and 8 right so small small things are very important if in exams you do 12 by 12 into uh, 6 by 12 then the solution will go wrong right so 12 minus 8 would give me 4 percentage right so when i compare this 3.36 and 4 we can clearly see that the forward dollar is at a premium of course we have got the fact from the information given to us that dollar is at a premium but that premium percentage is less when you compare to the interest rate differential that is 4 percentage okay so hence we say we borrow in dollars and the other thing has to be invest right so and the other currency is rupee So if I borrow in dollar, so I have to invest in what rupee. Why am I borrowing in dollar? Because the forward premium, dollar is at premium, no doubt. But that premium percentage, which is three point six, three point three six in this case, is less than the interest rate differential. Hence, I have to borrow in dollars. Had it the forward premium, dollar premium more. For example, say premium was five percentage and the interest rate differential is four. So then dollar is at a premium, even more. uh then the interest rate differential so then i'll invest in dollars right see only two currencies are involved in a quote in this case it's rupee and dollar so if i'm borrowing in dollar so in other currency i will invest that is there so i will say i will borrow in dollars that has to be my starting point and this is the most important part is you have to analyze from the information given to you in the question which currency you have to borrow okay and which currency you have to invest that is 
the moment you get one thing the other one is by default in this case you borrow in dollars okay that is invest in rupees it's the same thing when the forward premium is less than the interest rate differential in that currency you borrow now now the stats this is basically same as money market hedge that we'll see in the upcoming questions see it's very easy um but pay very much attention these arbitrage questions are i would not say difficult but in in one go you you may not be able to understand they are a bit tedious so pay attention okay see so i have decided my uh, action course of action which is to borrow borrow what dollars and in question if you see they've given me the exposure amount let me just remove all these things see in the question they've given me borrow rupee or dollar so i've selected dollar borrow so this amount i'll take 83312 dollars so borrow dollar 83312 today at spot every action is happening at spot the arbitrage standing today will know what is his profit or loss after 6 months okay he will know the exact amount today everything is happening now right so if i'm borrowing this amount from the bank 83312 what will i have to pay to the bank after this is 6 months the term is 6 months right yes so i have to pay not only this principal but also the interest so i have to pay this after 6 months so the interest amount will be 8% was the rate i'm borrowing dollars i'm borrowing from united states so the rate that was 8% but how much 6 months only so into 6 by 12 the entire amount will be this 86644.48 uh principal plus interest this is what i have to give after 6 months but what i have now now i have the bank has given me 83312 dollars with this dollar what should i do should i sell these dollars yes so the next action would be sell these dollars in the market again which market spot or the forward market the spot everything is happening at the spot today i i went there into the united states their bank borrowed these rupees i have these rupees now what is the other action i sell these rupees and get a uh, sorry i sell these dollars and get the rupees so sell dollars and the code that is given to me is also a dollar code because it's rupee by dollar dollar is a standard currency here so i will sell these dollars or buy rupees the same thing at spot very important thing at spot so when i do this i have to multiply see why multiply because the common currencies in this case dollar dollar will get cancelled when you multiply and you are left with equivalent rupee rupee okay which is uh, when i did the guy So when I sold dollars, eighty three thousand three one two at spot spot rate is forty eight point zero one two three. When I did the calculation, I had to multiply because the dollar dollar has to cancel out, and I'm left with equivalent rupee, which is forty lakh. Okay. Now once I have sold these dollars, um, initially I borrowed the dollars. When I got the dollars, I've sold them, and I got equivalent rupee. What do I do with the rupee? I invest in the rupee, right? So now I will invest these rupees forty lakhs in India. at the rate of 12% but for 6 months so 6% and finally at expiry which is uh, after 6 months what i get is principal plus interest so i get not only 40 lakhs but i also get the interest of 6% when i total them both aggregate number is 42 lakh 40000 okay rupee very important rupee because the investment is also made in rupee now see the total inflow after 6 months that is at, at expiry inflow at expiry is rupee 42 lakh 40000 and the outflow at expiry because i had borrowed dollars so at expiry i have to pay i have to pay principal plus interest this is the outflow in terms of dollars so what i'll do is the inflow that i'm getting in terms of rupee today i'm booking a forward contract today means at spot everything is happening at spot again and again i'm repeating the sentence because it has a lot of importance okay um so the basically the arbitrage knows what is his gain or loss at today point 0 he knows everything the calculations are with him the figures are with him and he can do his calculation that after 6 months what is going to be his profit or loss okay so what i'm doing is the arbitrage want to fix absolute control he wants an absolute control on the inflows or the outflows so he has to fix his inflows and outflows standing today so what he does is what he does is he enters into a forward contract today that after 6 months i'm going to get certain amount of rupees so in order to fix that see because the currency involved is a different currency uh, that is there are two currencies here dollar and the rupee so rupee is involved and what i'm doing is i want to fix that today standing today what is that amount going to be 
and that amount will not be fluctuating uh, vis a vis the, uh, the the dollar and the rupee quotations okay the foreign exchange quotations if they fluctuate so f for example dollar goes to a premium you know the forward dollar is at a premium it means the rupee is a is at a discount okay so what they are doing is they're saying uh, the arbitrager is saying that what i'll do is i'll enter into a forward contract to sell these rupees sell the rupee at six months after six months that is you know at the six month point so i'll get the dollar equivalent okay so sell the rupee means buy dollar right so when i do that this is again see the forward rate the six month forward rate to be very precise so when I do that 42 like 40,000 divided by this 48.8190 why am I dividing this okay because the common currency cancels out to pay I'm left with the equivalent dollars because the exposure is the rupee exposure currency is the rupee and my rate is the dollar rate the currencies are not the same I have to divide in order for the common currency to cancel out now I have the dollar equivalent now I can can I get now the net inflow or the outflow yes i can because everything is in dollars now see initially my inflow was in dollar my outflow was where is the outflow was in uh, dollar but my inflow was in rupee initially now i made sure my inflow is also in dollars okay so what i get is when you do the net inflow that is the inflow minus outflow you get this amount dollar 206.95